Ron Johnson is a Republican senator from Wisconsin. He spoke about the problems in our health care system over the weekend. And let's see what he has to say, because he's going to let you know what he thinks the main problem is with our health care and our health insurance system. We, we know why these premiums have increased. You know, I am reminded by, remember President Bill Clinton talking about Obamacare as a crazy system? He started talking about the people that are busting it, sometimes working 60 hours a week, and then they're left with premiums that have doubled and their coverage cut in half. Those are the forgotten men and women in this entire health care debate, but we know why those premiums doubled. We've done something with our health care system that you would never even think about doing, for example, with auto insurance, where you'd require auto insurance companies to sell a policy to somebody after they crash their car. States that have, that have uh, enacted guaranteed issue, which is the, the guarantee for pre-existing conditions, it crashes their markets. It causes collapse. It causes premiums to skyrocket. Now, the good news, Chuck, is you can actually address people with pre-existing conditions without collapsing markets. It's by properly designing high-risk pools. You know, main pass guaranteed issue. And what they had to do is they had to institute an invisible high-risk pool. But we don't have the courage in Washington. We don't have the honesty to talk about these things with real information, real facts, go through that problem-solving process, information, agree on right. a, achievable goals, then set the strategies, then pass the legislation. Look at so uh, it, was, it was a little bit of political mumbo-jumbo in there, but let me break it down for you. What he's saying is we don't have the courage to put the blame where it really belongs for the increasing premiums, uh, people with pre-existing conditions. What do you want, Ron? Like, what do you want out of the healthcare system? Do you want, hey, let's, the people who need help the most, let's not cover them. Let's not give them help. Well, then what the fuck is the point of the system? That's the dumbest system I've ever heard in my life. Okay, so, like, you're gonna get the coverage if, like, you don't need it. But if you do need it, go fuck yourself. That's like if you go to a restaurant and they're like, okay, look, we're going to give you food if, if you're not hungry, but if you are hungry, what am I going to do? You're actually going to eat the food, so I can't have you actually eating the food if I give you the food. So, you know, we're not going to give you food if you're hungry. That's what we do with, with health insurance and health care in this country. Okay, so like, you're going to pay in to our system here, but you're going to pay in when you're like healthy. And then when people actually come to us and they really need help and they need coverage, we're going to say, ah, but you're going to cost us a lot of money. We're not going to give you coverage. And these guys have convinced themselves, like, that's totally cool. What do you mean? Yeah, that's how it works. What's, what's the problem? <laughs> he compared it to fucking car insurance. I mean, we're talking about life or death when it comes to health care. That's what we're talking about. So if you say, no, you know, they should have the right to reject you if you have a pre-existing condition... So then every, every health insurance company can reject somebody who needs care, and then that person is just fucked, according to Ron Johnson. But actually, no. Because he goes on to talk about high-risk pools. We need these high-risk pools. You know what that is? That's single-payer. So what he wants to do, get this. This is the new Republican thing. What he wants to do is set up a separate system, basically, for people who have pre-existing conditions, and they are sick, and it is going to cost a lot of money. That separate system is effectively a single-payer system. So tax dollars fund that. Now, for everybody else, for hard-working middle-class people who don't have a pre-existing condition, so people who he pretends to be in favor of, as he just did right there, for you, he wants you to be forced into the private market. And then, so you have to pay higher premiums, you have to get price gouged in the process, and then maybe not get care when you need it. So, uh, you know, people who are capable of working and capable and make a decent, you know, middle class living or whatever, you're going to be forced into the private market. People with pre-existing conditions get their own little separate single payer system. Now, why would he do that? Think about it. Why would a Republican be in favor of that? Because the private health insurance companies never want to pay for the people with pre-existing conditions because it costs a lot of money. So they'll just pawn that off to the government. By the way, why do you think we ended up getting Medicare? Why do we end up getting Medicare? It's a single-payer system for old people. Why do we get it? Because the private health insurance companies were like, we can't make money off old people. We got to spend a lot on them. So we're going to lose money if we have to 
We can't have our, our cushy profit margins if we pay for old people. So here, let the government, let the taxpayers take care of that. So, but, so what he wants to do is have that for them, for people with pre-existing conditions, but then screw over everybody else. No, give us all a single-payer system, you loathsome bastard. And he always, they always talk about the problem. Yeah, the problem, in the, yeah, the problem, the problem is the people with pre-existing conditions. That's what he's saying. No, the problem is that the for-profit health insurance companies have to make a profit. That's the fucking problem. Price gouging for-profit middlemen. They don't have that in other modern nations. Say it with me. They don't have that in other modern nations. You don't make a profit off health care, off health insurance. It's all funded by tax dollars. And guess what? They pay less for it overall. They pay less for it and they cover everybody. And they get better health outcomes. So, um, take your logic of, oh yeah, high-risk pools. Put everybody in the high-risk pool. That would be a single-payer system for everybody. But no, they wanna, okay, we'll give them an exception because we don't want the, the, our poor, beloved private health insurance companies who actually have to spend money on them. So no, we can't have them. Put them separately. But then everybody else, you know, people who don't have pre-existing conditions, everybody else, sorry, you're gonna have to get price gouged like fucking crazy and get care denied sometimes and go into the private market, which is, of course, horrendous. No. Medicare for all for everybody right now.